in every lifetime, we are given an opportunity, a day when we can innovate and accelerate, a day when we can contribute to something greater than ourselves. Today, my friends, is not that day. Instead, what you're about to see is a series of trailers that you won't find on any of the other E3 presentations. Instead, these are games from passionate small-scale developers that are hoping to release in the next 12 months. Some say that these games are too small in scope. Some say that they don't belong on the stage of E3. Some say that this introduction is a colossal waste of time. All we know is, E3 is about video games. And these are... Some video games. So, let's talk games direct. Hands up who's old enough to remember rocket jumping in Quake. Don't actually put your hand up because you're so old that you'll probably put your shoulder out. Because I just did. Anyway, here's some of that. are not immune to capitalism. I admit that's a bit of a weird stance to take, but this duck's gotta get a job, because he's got to pay the bill. I reached out to professional developer Fred Wood, and I asked him if he'd like to feature his game in our presentation and maybe record a little something to speak to you lovely people. And he of course said, are you mad? I've got a demo to get out in a week. Oh my god, leave me alone. He didn't say that. Fred's lovely. He did say I could put the trailer in the presentation though, so here that is.
You like cats? I got a game with a cat in it. Now it's time for a segment that I have creatively titled Special Guest Feature Segment. I reached out to some popular stars of the Game Dev YouTube community to see if they'd like to submit something for our little presentation and they of course said, no, we're incredibly busy. We're all working on our video games. Why are you asking me this with like two days to go? Who are you? How did you get in my house? All right, they didn't say that, I'm paraphrasing, but they are all kind of busy being real actual video game developers. I guess when you're a real actual video game developer, you're quite busy doing real actual video game development. Who knew? But I did get permission from a few very cool people to feature their trailer in this presentation. And our first is Blackthorn Prod. for something very serious, soulful, and mature. Because people like that sort of thing in video games these days, and this video game has those things. Have you ever wanted to play as a fox who rolls dice to gain the power to kill stuff? Because I think that's what this game is. I am so bad at describing video games, oh my god. Our next game is called A Strange Hotel. I went to a strange hotel once. Wasn't this kind of strange though? It was a whole, whole other thing and I don't want to talk about it.
for another segment of our special guest feature segment. This time featuring Pontypants, who you might know for work on his game Punch a Bunch, in which you punch a bunch. When I asked him if he'd like to be part of the presentation, he said, unfortunately, I'm making a video game, please leave me alone. He didn't say, please leave me alone, he's lovely. But he did say that I could use any of the footage from his channel to put together a little bit of a trailer. And so I decided to make what is technically the world exclusive first proper ish trailer for Punch a Bunch. video games. Here it is. that stands for heights or plummeting. From that title you've probably ascertained it's a platformer and you might be thinking saying aren't there enough 2D platformers? No, no there aren't. section that I like to call calm, chill, relaxing games for people who are angry. Starting with this. Feeling chill yet? Nice and chill and relaxed. Let's have a little bit more of that. Mmm.
Now I think to continue our chill segment, we need something in a farming simulator. Someone fetch me a farming simulator. chill. Did you think I was done? I'm not done. I have this compilation that's incredibly chill. And now it's time for yet another special guest feature segment. Remember how I said I reached out to a bunch of people and they all said no? I lied. That was a clever ruse. You have been tricked, foiled and bamboozled. Your expectations have been subverted. Here's this. Hey, this is Jonas and I would like to announce that my upcoming indie game Will You Snail is coming out today as a toaster exclusive. So if you have a toast station, grab your copy now. <coughs> I have a question. Um, is this a delayed April Fool's joke? Don't you guys have toasters? Hello, human. You are a snail. And I am a god capable of predicting every move you will make. Ah, too easy. You just try to reach the end of the level. And I'll try to kill you. <laughs> Here's a game about a robot. I probably should have got a robot to host this presentation. It would have been more entertaining than me. Watch this trailer about a game with a robot in it while I go cry in the shower.
we don't have enough of in video games? Guns. As far as I know, and I've been around a very long time, there's never been a video game with guns in it, which I think is an incredibly untapped market. Here's a game with some guns. Exploring, escaping, dialogue, doing things. It's time for another video game. Time for one more special guest feature segment. When I approached this next developer, I said, could you just send me a, a segment that's kind of understated? And, you know, don't say anything controversial. I don't want anything that's, you know, don't, don't go making any massively bold claims, is what I'm saying. Here's what I got sent. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the greatest game ever made of all time. If you think I'm exaggerating, I might be, but that's okay. And so, my friends, we have reached the end of the first annual Let's Talk Games Direct. Information on all of the games that you've just seen is listed in the description below. Hopefully, you found something in this presentation that's making you think, hmm, maybe I don't need to buy another first-person multiplayer PvP team-based looter shooter with a pre-order bonus and a season pass. 
Thank you to everyone who has submitted a game for this presentation. I hope I did them justice. Thank you, of course, to my very special guests who dedicated their time, effort, energy, and just a reply sometimes to this cause. But mostly thank you to you, because I get that the games that are featured in this presentation aren't flashy. They're not the ones that are going to be gaining all the hype and the poorly written articles on websites that nobody needs anymore. These aren't those games, but you're here, and your support means everything to the individual passionate creators of these games. If you've liked this presentation, then it's time to get out there and start sharing it with the world. I'm talking Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, MySpace, Neopets, Habbo Hotel. But don't share it on TikTok because the teenagers will call me cringe and that's going to hurt my feelings. Hopefully you've enjoyed yourself and next year I can see you the next time I'm thinking, hey, let's talk games direct. Yeah, no, it went really well. I, I, I can't believe they fell for it, to be honest. Yeah, it's mad. No, I just got people to send me a load of trailers and then I monetize the video and I make money off them. It's brilliant. No, no, nobody thinks it's a scam either. So I think I'm going to get away with it.